Hi everyone, <coughs> my name is uh, Virtuoso TV. You know me as Virtuoso TV actually. And uh, today I have finally decided to actually record this tutorial. Except this time it's a remake of a previous video that was pretty much longer than it should have. On the off chance that you misread the title, you might think this is about OBS setup and compressing videos, but actually no. This, in fact, is about the best settings you can possibly find in a free software. Now, OBS, if you don't know, stands for Open Broadcast Software. And as far as I notice, a lot of uh, YouTubers use it for streaming and recording. But I'm only covering the recording part on this one. So, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's begin. Initially, go ahead and download the software, of course. I'm leaving links down below in the description. Now the first step to do after installing OBS is that you must create a profile. And uh, as you can see, inconveniently at the moment I'm recording using the software, so naturally I cannot make a profile meanwhile another one is in use. Since I'm unable to show you precisely, I can guide you through it, so it's very simple actually. Top side, right here, click on profiles. Select new and name it whatever you want. Then go down to scenes and right click on your mouse. Then add scene. It's the first option. Again, the name of your preference. Move aside and add a source. Uh, to clarify a source, it's where you want your recording to be recorded from. In other words, either you want to record everything your monitor sees exactly as I'm doing right now, or just the game window. That's, uh, that's the game you're playing, of course. These other choices right here are add-ons like um, text on top of your uh, video or images. But I'm going to let you experiment on your own if you feel like it. Because the main intent and purpose is to provide you with the best settings which we are starting with right now. Open the, the window settings this one here like this and uh, follow my lead the first bar is the general section uh, basically it displays the language and the name of the profile you just created so just stick enable cursor over a projector and that's it that's all you need to do at this point uh, hit apply and move on to the next one please note that you must click apply every time we move to another section I may not seem to do that because I've already applied my settings, but for you as a first timer, you must do it. So, moving on to encoding. These settings might seem a bit extreme, I know, but you need to copy them exactly as they appear. The only part you can change is the audio. But if you want good audio as well, this is how you do it. Just copy everything and hit uh, apply again. Now, this mode in the broadcast settings uh, is by default set to live stream. Uh, like I said before, we're only covering the recording utility of OBS, so select file output only and go down to file path. Hit browse like this and locate where and which folder you would like your video to be saved in. Name the file whatever you want. Uh, and make sure this is very important make sure to select mp4 instead of flv i mean i assume many of you want to upload their videos to youtube and other websites so that is said mp4 uh, is one of the most recommended file types for uploading so once you do that you can just uh, yeah you can just go ahead and ignore what's left now the video section you know first option displays the GPU that is of course your graphics card I used to have a GTX 780 uh, uh, shown up here but uh, it's being repaired at the moment and uh, automatically it changed to the built-in HD graphics 4000 so yours is highly expected to, uh, to be different uh, going down to the base uh, resolution uh, go for custom and choose your monitor's resolution. Uh, mine, for example, is 1920 per 1080p. So you change it to yours. Down again and select none. Okay, good. 
Now the FPS part is of your choice. Either you want 30 FPS or 60. Uh, but please note that these settings we're seeing on this video are perfect for either one. It's all about your preference. So once you decide, go ahead and uh, to the next one. The audio section. Desktop audio device gives you various options depending on your connected speakers or sound card. But uh, to make things simplistic, uh, choose default. Uh, it's basically saying that I want to record everything I hear from my speakers or headphones. Uh, you can take this one, uh, show only connected devices. Um, it's only just to help you decide which ones are connected to your computer. And then select your microphone. Now go down here uh, and uh, as you can see uh, these are all uh, default you know everything here is default except mic boost you can leave it at one as you will find this originally uh, or make it four which uh, boosts your, your mic a little bit as you can see I'm using four right now uh, but it's not uh, of any impact on your recording quality so it's not it's not very important now moving to moving on to hotkeys and uh, to do it briefly these are actions that you can assign keys to do them for you apparently i only use two f5 to start recording and f6 to stop uh, do the same or assign the rest it's uh, it's actually up to you now reaching the most important part of this tutorial the advanced section um, I'm gonna be honest here and say that I can't pretend to know everything about this window but I can assure you these settings are the best I have found just copy everything this window displays especially this part this equation here which I'm leaving for you in the description and uh, just in case you are uh, wondering and uh, as a general concept or idea of what's going on here this custom encoder equation or formula you can call it whatever you want is what's mainly responsible for making your video at the best quality possible yet meanwhile preserving your gpu and cpu from the potential stress and exertion and that is very important i mean come to think of it you would want your graphics card and processor to be at ease while recording of course and uh, I mean, on, on one hand, they won't overwork, and on the other hand, your video will have the most FPS. So basically, it's a, it's a win-win. And that is what makes these settings the best I have discovered so far. Um, anyway, uh, I think um, practically, yes, I think the, the remainder of these uh, sections have no impacts on your recording. And I always keep them on default, so you, you don't have to concern yourself with that too. Just leave them on default. Uh, once you're done copying everything, hit apply again and OK. Then you can start recording anytime you want. Now, let me show you how to compress your videos. Because most likely they will occupy a significant amount of disk space. That's arguably the only downside of these settings. I mean, we would like our recording to, to be compressed, yet maintaining the same or best quality possible. So, this software is called Handbrake, and uh, again, it is a free software. Uh, open it and then locate your video, the MP4 file. This one here is compressed. As you can see, it's a 1 gigabyte MP4 file. Uh, it's a LEGO, a Lego Legends game. Uh, match that I have uh, recorded a while back and uh, originally it was um, uh, as far as I can remember I think I think 18 gigabytes yes I think it was 18 which is a lot I know but that's okay because from 18 I made it to 1 gigabyte and as you can see it looks uh, pretty good by the way this is uh, 1920 per, 10, uh, per 1080p with 60 FPS and it's 40 minutes so I think it's safe to say that it's, uh, it's a great quality for one gigabyte disk space. Uh, I'm gonna let you now take a take a look for a better idea about this. Your turret has been destroyed. 
Now after locating your mp4 file to handbrake or uh, simply just dragging it like this, take this one, web optimization and that's all. This part is basically displaying your video's details so you know not much to it. Uh, moving aside, dimensions here select which resolution you would like your video to be drafted as and make sure you have zero on every side here. You don't want your video to be cropped. Now that's it. Uh, you can just go ahead and skip the filter and move aside to the video. Uh, video codec H.264. Then the frame rate section. If you want 30, keep it. If not, choose same as source. Whatever FPS your video is at will be saved. Then either constant or peak frame rate. I usually go for constant, but uh, then again, it's up to you. Uh, this bar uh, right here is all about the quality your video is going to be at. I usually work between 21 and 25, but uh, please note that the lower you go, the better quality your video is going to be at, and yet the bigger disk space it will use. What I'm trying to say is, the higher you go equals less disk space and less video quality and the lower you go equals the better quality and yet uh, again the bigger disk space there is you know there is like a, a little gray area you can work uh, uh, around there so i think it's best to leave it at 23 or 24 that's what i usually do but of course you are welcome to experiment and see for yourself um, these are default so yeah, just leave them but this part, this part is important. The faster you want your compression to be over with, the worse quality you will get. So my way is that I go all the way down to very slow and leave it. It takes longer but it drafts your video with the best quality possible for that much disk space. Um, these are default too, so you can leave them untouched, it's okay. The last one uh, I think is uh, the audio section. Change your audio to whatever bitrate you'd like. Mm. I always go for uh, uh, 192 bitrates, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to see if I missed anything, but no, I think we have covered everything. Yes, this is uh, this is everything that I do. Just uh, browse where you want your video to be saved in. And don't forget to finish up with .mp4. .mp4. This is again uh, an important note. And hit start encode, and that's it. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope these settings are what you were uh, looking and hoping for. And uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and ask me in the comment section, and I'll get back to you.